All right, so when I look at this hood, what I'm seeing is that what we're gonna end up doing is doing a little stretch from down here towards the back and just a little bit. And what that'll do is that'll create, uh, that'll help the film contour into here and then just lay over the edge, but not lay over the edge with any fingers. Um, a four corner tack or something like that is definitely not gonna work on this hood. And that's what I'm thinking is gonna be the best approach. Let's see how it works out. Alrighty then. Sure. Let's turn that down a little bit so I don't completely soak you. All right, so it doesn't really look like we're gonna need that stretch from front to back. We're gonna be able to just push out the air pockets with our hands. And then it's still laid down real nice on the on the side here, so that's great. It dips into this recess really well. Let's just get rid of some of these bigger air pockets. Now on this vehicle, we're gonna be leaving this part um, uncovered because it is a matte finish sticker. We're gonna be trimming right here along this edge all the way around. Um, we did give the customer the option to replace that sticker, but it looks like from the dealership right now, those that sticker specifically is about uh, just a little over $300. So um, they said they'd prefer just not to to cover it then. Okay, then let's get this air out and we can start squeegeeing. Okay, and then also just so you know, I did prop the hood up a little bit, just in order for these handles here. I, I don't know what those are, tie downs or something, but they've got these handles that come up that are sit proud from the hood. So I put a space underneath the hood so that it couldn't close all the way so that we can get this to lay real flat. All right, let's start squeegeeing all this out. Good overlapping strokes is important. I've also got about half of my squeegee that's uh, overlapping. Well, maybe not half, but three quarters. Sometimes half though, that was about half, so. So I did just put a little tension on that to help these fingers. I was, cause all the moisture, all the soapy water that was in there was having a little bit of an issue with them wanting to crease over on themselves. The other thing that that will help with is that we had a little finger here, which you can still see it's popping up just a little bit, but also putting that stretch on there would, would help to get rid of some of that. Now you don't want to do much of a stretch because you don't, you know, we're not tacked to anything other than just the hood. And too much of a stretch is going to want to pop off right here. And it's not needed anyway, so. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do, instead of bringing this solution into here this time, because I've got this nice and uh, laid down in here, I'm just going to go ahead and take this stuff right out this way. Well, that's nice that it lays down in there so well. Hey. So now, you know, this would be a little bit different if we were needing to keep this part on the middle of the hood. But fortunately we're not in that situation. We do have uh, some fingers up here that we would need to put a little bit of stretch from left to right with, or, or to get rid of.
All right, we'll come back to this to get this area stuck down. Just want to get the rest of the water out of the other parts. We'll get that stuck down in a minute. And the front edge. All right, those can wait. Let's take care of these back areas here. And I think part of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off all this excess material and I'm gonna leave just a little bit hanging over. So probably eighth inch to a quarter inch hanging over. Not expecting this to be my final cut. And actually something I'm gonna do first here is I'm gonna bring this hood up just a little bit more. All right. But the advantage of getting that a little bit higher is that this back here will now sit higher than the fender. Before it was like really close and so we we're gonna have an issue with it wanting to pop up there. All right, let's go ahead and get this all squeegeed out. All right, so in order to keep these areas down, what we're gonna do is a little swipe and hold. Okay, now, so again, I'm gonna go ahead and trim some of this off. All right, and then we're gonna do the swipe and hold right here. Great, and then another swipe and hold. And so I don't know if you can see my hand shaking a little bit. I'm putting some solid pressure on that edge. Okay. Just double checking for any water left behind. Yeah. Things are looking good. Let's see how this, that line looks good as far as the line around this sticker. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and trim our edges and then do a uh, pre-wrap. Uh, pre well, after we take care of the front of this. Let me get ahead of myself. I mean, this also would have been corrected during a, a pre-wrap on the edges, but let's go ahead and get those down now. Okay, so right here I'm gonna do a 45. You can see I basically just went just a little bit over the edge or right, you know, so that when it when I push down, it covers everything you're looking at, everything you can see. And then we're gonna leave about a quarter inch hanging over all the way around. Just popping up just a little bit right here. So let's make sure that stays down. It's important when you're cutting across a fender, especially if you don't have paint protection on it yet, and even if you do, it's incredibly important that you're lifting the material up and cutting, and then all I'm using is the very tip of the blade to cut through that. Do not want to hit the fender. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is add tack solution to all these edges. All right, so I'm just gonna get on this pre-wrap all the way around.
Let's get rid of some of this stuff in the middle, though. Okay, let's see what it looks like when we're opening this, if we can just leave it all the way up. Um, yeah, it looks like we can. That way we get a bunch, you know, get this opened up so it's not in the way for doing the fenders. All right, so let's go ahead and trim this back now. All right, and then we are gonna pre-wrap that. How long ago did this camera turn off? That's not good. All right, I'm having a tough time with cameras today. It's not a good camera day. That is a real bummer though. All right, so we'll come back a little bit later and trim around this here, actually I may just leave that until tomorrow, till it's fully dry. And then um, this can sit here and hang like this overnight and we'll wrap these edges tomorrow. Thanks for taking a look and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for taking a look.